Hello everyone. In this module, I'm going to demonstrate how you can call parent component methods through child component. So here we will be using aura.action to implement the scenario. So jumping into developer console, first I'm going to create a new component. So it will be a child component. So naming it as child action component. So in this component, I'm going to create one attribute, naming it as parent action and its type will be aura.action. So this is spatial type, like if you uh, want to create any attribute and uh, um, that should work as an action. So you need to define this type as aura.action. Name is parent action. Now I'm going to create one more attribute, naming it as value for parent type equals to string and its default value will be child value for parent. Right, so method will be defined in the parent component and we are going to call that method in the child component. So uh, that parent component will be receiving this value that we have set here as a default in this attribute value for parent. Now after this, I'm going to create a P tag and inside this P tag, I'm writing child component so that we can identify it uniquely. Then I'm creating a button, labeling it as call parent method. And on click of this, we are going to call this parent action. So here, uh, see carefully, I am using v dot parent action. So generally we use c dot uh, and the method name, but here, uh, we are not going to define this parent action in the controller of this child component. It is basically uh, used here to link uh, the, par uh, the parent component method uh, so that that can be called through child component. So whenever you want to call method of parent component, so in that case, first you need to create this attribute of type aura.action, and then here you can use it uh, on button click. Now, uh, this parent action, we need to map it with the parent component so that uh, when we click on this button, call parent method, so parent method will be called or executed automatically. So now I'm going to save this code. So this child component is implemented properly. Now it's time to implement parent component. So I'm going to create one more component. naming it as parent action component and clicking on submit. So here I am creating one attribute. Its name is value from child. So right now we created one attribute here, value for parent. So this value will be available in this attribute. So this we will be doing through the method. So basically, if you want to pass the values, so uh, like we have bounded and bounded expressions, other than that, you can use aura method and aura dot action. So aura method, basically we use uh, that I also demonstrated in my previous video. So in that case, method will be available in child component and it will be called through parent. Now in this uh, module, uh, you, you are learning method is defined in uh, parent and it is called by child component. So there we use aura.action. So here I'm writing parent component so that we can uniquely identify this. Then br value from child component. So here I'm writing v dot value from child, then HR. Now, 
with this c colon i am going to call the child action component then providing aura id so aura id is msg and then parent action equals to v dot sorry c dot method called from child right so what i did i just uh, placed child component here in the parent component provided or id and mapped this parent action with this method so parent action you can see is available here as aura dot action so when you click on the button which is available on this child so this uh, parent action uh, will be initiated and here we are linking it with this method and this method i am going to define in the controller of this parent component so this way uh, through child component we will be uh, calling this method right so now after this i am going to put br hr and p tag inside p i am going to write parent component ends here right and after uh, implementation of this code i am going to write the code for controller for parent component so i clicked on this controller and here i need to place this method name so you can just copy and paste it now here you need to find that aura id so variable child component equals to component dot find msg and then component dot set v dot so i am copying this value from child putting it here and child component dot get v dot so in child we have this attribute so i am copying this and pasting it here so this attribute reside in the child component this is available in uh, parent component right so from child value of attribute will be available in the parent component attribute so this way uh, this implementation is complete so here you can see this method is defined in the parent component and here we are calling it linking it with parent action so whenever this child component will be loaded so it will be linked automatically and when you will be clicking on this button so that method will be executed so now i am going to open demo app where i will be placing this parent component so in demo app or uh, you just need to uh, place the parent component so parent action component so i am saving this clicking on preview okay so here you can see output is loaded so whatever is available in this uh, horizontal rule is child component so if i go here and show you so here you can see whatever is available inside hr uh, is the child component and be before hr parent component and after hr parent component right and here this message is written value from child component so here it is and right now this value from child attribute is having nothing because on load uh, it is blank now if i click on this button so this will be showing the message and what message it will be showing which is available here child value for parent so if i click on this so you can see child value for parent so this way uh, we are calling this method which is available in the parent components controller and for that you just need to use this aura dot action type so this is all about how you can call the methods which are defined in parent component through child component thank you